some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we will be taking a look at Direct D's latest criminal issues. I mean, it's about that time of the month for him to get arrested again. And apparently this time he's facing another six months in jail. I mean, this guy must love prison food. So now let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, that's me. What's hot? What's your name? Ruff, R-U-F-F. -F. You can call me Direct D, though. What is your legal name on your... I just told it to you, Ruff, R-U-F-F. -F. Do you want me to write it down? Actually, yes. That way we know okay, give me a pen. Because if you're, if you're here and you print your name, the court's not going to call you. So it's totally up to you. If you want to print your legal name here... The court's not going to call me? Yeah, they, they will. Call They'll call me. So yeah, okay. Well, now we certainly got Mr. Personality sitting over here. Somebody who has got a real attitude problem with everybody around him. With your personality type, I just can't imagine why you've gotten in so much trouble over your life. It's a complete mystery to me. Go sit down. Who did you call, Darren? She skipped me, Your Honor. I actually put my name on there as Direct D. My name's Christopher Ruff. She skipped me. I put my name on it. Yes. Christopher Dane Ruff. Good morning. R U F is in Frank. F is in Frank. Okay. What is your date of birth? You've been charged with a city code violation of being in a city park after hours. And that is a that carries a maximum sentence of six months in jail, three years probation, a little over $4,500 in fines. There is no mandatory minimum sentence. In other words, any sentence imposed could be as little as a zero fine. Sir, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say to anyone but your attorney could be used against you. You also have the right to be represented by a counsel, certain cases, court appointed counsel. In just a minute, I'm going to let you talk to one of our attorneys about your case. What they'll do is go over your options, they'll answer your questions, and then after that, you and I will talk again about how you want to proceed. So just Thank you. I seem to recall another time in court where he uh, bragged about making $5,000 off of the video that put him there to begin with, and then he expected to uh, have a court-appointed attorney to defend him, even though he got that $5,000. I mean, we got a real turd blossom here, don't we? Good, how are you? I know, well, I'm just out in the hallway. Yeah. So my name is Ariel Davis. I'm a home defender here at the city of Mesa. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so basically my job here today is to advise you for only today. I don't represent you. I'm not assigned to your case. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So my question is for you that I ask everybody across the board. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yeah. Are you on probation or parole of any nope. kind? And then are you a veteran or a current no. military member? Thank you. So essentially what you've been charged with is a city code violation. I have to tell you about it. I have to advise you about it. There is no mandatory minimum related to it. It is a class one misdemeanor. So you are facing up to six months jail, up to three years probation, up to a $2,500 fine, not including search charges. I'm not telling you that information to scare you. I'm just telling you that information because it's required as part of my job to tell you what the possible mandatory minimums are, if any, which there are not in this case, mm -hmm. up to the maximum, okay? So essentially the uh, prosecutors, they make plea offers in the cases. Um, they have made one in your case today. You do not have to take it if you don't want to, but I am required to communicate it to you to let you know that an offer exists and what it is. Does that make sense? No. 
So I'm going to tell you. Well, I understand what you're saying, but why would you offer me something when I don't have a charging I document? I haven't made the. I didn't make the offer. You're you're so. relaying it, right? Yes. So why would an offer be getting made without any kind of documents for me to make a knowledgeable, so have, informed decision on? I have the on? offer right here. Well, that's the offer. Where's the okay. police report? The body cam. So I, we don't get any of that at this juncture. So at this juncture. So why would I get an offer then? So no, they, this courtroom is essentially allows defendants to resolve cases before if they're afraid, that right? Yeah. Not that if they're afraid. What would they be afraid of? You? I mean, you're small potatoes to them. You're a not a nothing zilch. But this is Direct D we're talking about here. He's always got some conspiracy theory running about his head. I mean, you never know what comes out of this guy's mouth next. I'm not interested in an offer because it's going to say jail got, and all I've kinds of stuff. I've got to tell you what it is so you know oh, okay. who you're rejecting. Go ahead. Okay. So it, that's fair if you don't want to take it. Totally fine. I just need to tell you what it is so you are informed of what, you, what you're rejecting. Does For that sure. make sense? Yeah. So what they're offering is they want you to plead to this violation. They're asking for 30 days jail flat. They're asking for unsupervised probation of 36 months. That's not what I was charged with. <laughs> It's 6103A. Is yeah, I was charged with 6102A. That's what's written on my ticket. Okay. Um, so that would be well, a... Well, you don't have uh, to deal with that with the public defender. They can easily amend that. That's not an issue. They so can't they, amend the charge. They can. They can and they will. 5.4B. If it's wrong. If it's wrong, they can amend it. They're only... Let, no. It's supposed to match the evidence. I just went over the rules of criminal procedure for this. I understand what you're saying, but I, what I'm telling you as a trained lawyer that's been practicing for over five years and has gone mm -hmm. to law school and has done these things... Do they teach you law in law school? They do, actually. No, they don't. So, Legal theory. No, not legal theory. Okay. Um, but um, I was doing felony... I see you are about as well versed in a technical college jargon as you are in law. And that is to say poorly educated. When you hear the term theory involved with anything in the academic world, it does not mean guess. What a theory is in academic terms is a set of facts that tends to explain a phenomenon. Or as a professor I once had in college stated as what a theory is, imagine a uh, jumbled mess of lines on a paper. That is the uh, phenomenon you're trying to figure out. The theory sets all those lines straight so you can examine the uh, phenomenon in better detail so you can see each individual line. Before I came here to Misdemeanor Land. So essentially... So whether it was actual end, victims, you, you left that to come over here and prosecute or help people that... Where there's no victims in any of these so cases? You know what? You can talk to the judge if you like. Um, this is what their offer is. You want to reject it, that's fine. What I'm telling you is that they can amend this. They're asking for 36 months unsupervised probation, $300 fine, not to return to any city Mesa Park, remain law-abiding. They're saying right now that they're reviewing um, an, an additional case to possibly charge it. It's a disorderly conduct case, just FYI. Now, did you catch that last thing that she just said? They're also investigating a disorderly conduct case that would be involved with the same case that I'm already in court for, for allegedly being in a park. Now, I don't know how I could be in a park while I'm in a car as a passenger to begin with, but I also don't understand how I can be disorderly inside of my own car. Here's a clip of what they're trying to charge me with. <laughs> You're gonna put me in court again? Thank you. I'll give you my name to go into court. My name's Christopher Ruff. Please fill my... I, I don't care what you gotta do. Write my ticket right now. I want mine first. Write my shit first. I want to go into court. Make sure your names are on the reports, too. Oh, we're going to make this fun, boys. Christopher Ruff. Hey, Christopher Ruff. Christopher Ruff. Christopher Ruff. No, you don't got to tell him that. It's just your true name. That's it. Christopher Ruff. Write it down. Hurry up. Hurry up. Christopher Ruff. C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R. I don't have to give you an ID. It's not. That's not how it works, dumbass. You need to brush up on the law.
Uh, yeah, you're not exactly helping your case in this situation by showing this video because it certainly seems like you're being disorderly to me. Christopher Ruff, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R-R-U-F-F. -F. Christopher Ruff. Christopher Ruff. Say it for me. Say it for me and give me a hard on. Come on. Say it for me and give me a hard on. Say me and give me a hard on. Uh, that's not what the ARS says, you stupid piece of shit. True full name. If I'm lawfully detained, I just gave it to you. Go yourself. Ha ha. So basically, the cops are crying to the prosecutors about my language and the names that I called them, and they're trying to criminally charge me for my use of language. Sounds like content suppression. And then from there, they're saying that they're not permitting your case to go to community court if you were eligible. Here. I don't know what that is. In the case as well. What's community so, court? Community court. Is that is homeless court? Yeah, it is. So I just doing my job, telling you, look, there's a pending case. They're reviewing it, disorderly conduct, CC now. And then do my job. I'm going to tell you yeah. this information. So if you don't want to take it, I'll have you fill out a form so you can get a public defender, or you can talk to the judge about whether or not you want to hire your own. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, good old Direct D keeps on racking up the charges. Well, let's see how many more he can rack up before he ends up getting big boy time and sent to the real state pen. Well, at any rate, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.